I'm going to show you now how to uh, prepare a bait for long distance casting on a dangle. Easiest way is to start on the top of the head, cut down that hard backbone that they've got, removing all of this hard backbone. Take off all the skin. We just removed the backbone. I'm now taking out the stomach part of the actual chocker. Just pulling that out. I'm going to put that to one side. Now you've left with a big V shaped white piece of flesh. I'm going to do the legs first because that's the easiest part. Starting there, working my way back. Starting there. Working my way back. Okay, so what I've got now is two lovely tentacles. One for either side. Trim that down a bit. I'm now going to cut a triangular piece of chocker. And using a very thick piece of the chocker so I can hit that down and make it all nice and mushy. What I'm now going to do is I'm basically going to take these long tentacles and cut them down to create a little bit more movement in the water, more of a feelers if you want to call it that. There we go. This here I'm going to take my chocker hammer and hit it so it is extremely soft and mushy. I'm going to turn it that the, the skin side is on the top and the flesh side is facing down. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take some glitter and sprinkle some glitter onto my chocker. Okay. I'm now going to take the other side of the chocker hammer and this is the flesh side now. I'm now going to hit that glitter into the actual chocker. What this does is basically allow you to your cotton to tie into it. I'm not hitting the tentacles too much. They need to be quite firm. Okay, we take our dangle now. The tail part of the dangle faces the circle over there like that and the tentacles face downwards. Wrap it around, take my cotton and basically just wrap it around the dangle. And you can use a lot of cotton now. Don't worry too much about it. Exactly the same with this side here. There we go, just pull him up so he sits nicely there. And wrap it around the dangle. Now what I've done is put both tentacles, cut them in half, so there's four legs there. I'm now going to take the soft part of it. That is very, very... I can't say anything else other than very very soft. <laughs> Wrap it around and just lightly cotton it on and now we just trim off the little edges that we don't want. We don't want it to go over that part which is where the sinker is going to attach to. That, when you're doing baits your bait must not protrude past that point there otherwise it will affect your release of your sinker. Okay, I've lightly cottoned that. I'm now going to take my eyes, insert one of the eyes under the cotton on that side and do exactly the same on this side. Take it on that side and work my way around that nylon part just to secure it in place like that and then finish it off. Okay. 
there's my bait there. I'm now going to add a little bit more glitter to it. To give it a bit more oomph in the water. Rub it in quite nicely. And then just to finish it off, give it a bit more colour. Like that. Take my circle hook. On the back part there and that goes through the circle look not interfering with any of the tentacles your sinker is going to attach to the end there and i'm just going to grab a sinker quickly hook a little um, solid ring to our clip the whole bait is absolutely streamlined so when it goes through the air it's actually going to look like that as it's going through the air traveling through the air there's no resistance on any part of that whatsoever as it's going. When it hits the water, goops into the water, the sinker clip releases. This flotation floats up nice and high in the water. And you're basically getting something that looks like that in the water. And then you pull it backwards and forwards as you're move, moving it in the water. This is totally loosened. And any fish that comes along and inhales it, that hook's going to get it perfectly.